Hello everyone, and welcome to the fourth video in the Sumobot Spike Prime process. Okay, so this program here just uses the color sensors to help the robot move around. But we actually want to use an additional sensor, which is this one. This is the ultrasonic sensor. If I um, hold my hand close to the robot like this, then this number gets low. If I hold my hand away from the sensor, it gets high. So you can actually use this sensor to tell the difference between whether something is close to the robot or far away. And you can actually attack if something is close. And so that's what we're going to do today with the program. So we're going to move everything out of the forever loop and we're going to reorganize things. We can't use the wait until function because um, it's a bit too simple for our process. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to use what's called if then else. I'm going to put that in the forever loop. And the first, uh, the first thing we're going to check is the black line. So that is uh, what we've done before. And if we see a black line, then we're going to um, we're going to move backwards and turn. And, and that's the same thing as we've done before. And if we don't see a black line, then we're going to move straight at 50%. But that is, um, that, that's, that this is just the same program as before. It was a little done a little bit more elegantly. Uh, we're going to take that out for a bit now because we're going to actually ask a second question. So we're going to throw another if then else. Um, and we actually want to now ask the question, if, if we don't see the black lines, then let's check the ultrasonic sensor. So click on sensors and we're going to look for the ultrasonic sensor, which is over here. So if D is closer, if the ultrasonic sensor is closer than, let's say, 15 centimeters, then we actually want to move straight, but we're going to move straight really fast because we want to attack the person because we're assuming they're in front of us. If they're not closer than 15 centimeters and they haven't seen the black line, then we want to move as, as normal. So we're going to set the movement speed to 50% and move straight. And so what this does is, one, it checks to see whether there's a black line uh, detected. And if it is, move backwards and turn. And two, if you see something close, we're going to charge. And if you don't see anything close and you don't see a black line, then we're going to move as normal. Let's try it. So right now, the car is operating normally at 50% power. Every time it sees a black line, it turns around. Now I'm gonna put my hand in front of it and I'm gonna see what happens to the speed. Here we go. So you see, when I put my hand in front, which represents a attacking opponent, it's going to get much, much faster and it's going to attack it. All right, thank you very much.